Hello, Forest Hills family and friends. This is Teresa Edwards here with Wednesday's Daily Spiritual Check-In. As we're here in the middle of the week, I hope that you are feeling the grace of God all around you as you go through what is on your to-do list. And just know that whatever you do, you are not alone. God is with you and your church is sending love and care through this video and many other ways. So may Wednesday be a day full of grace for you. But I don't want to talk about Wednesday today. I want to talk about Tuesday, yesterday. Because Tuesday was a pretty tough day, at least for me. I got a call early in the morning from a dear, dear friend who woke up to the news that her younger brother had died in the night of a heart attack very suddenly. And this was overwhelming to me. I wanted to be with her and I couldn't in that moment. And it just reminded me of the brevity of the life that we're given that we are not promised anything except for the breath in our lungs. And it saddened me that this man who was making such a difference in the world was no longer with us. And then last night I met with a family as we prepared to do a funeral service. And we talked about a long life, well lived, but also the sadness of saying goodbye and difficulties of illness uh, that extends over years. So, to be honest, it felt like there was a dark cloud over the whole day, and many other things popped up as well, as they often do in your life and mine. So, I suppose I went to the Psalms in search of a glimmer of hope. Because in the Psalms, we find God's promise to be near to us. And whatever emotion we're feeling, God is there to buoy us up and to hold our hand and to speak to that. And so as we ended the day with the debate, which I'm not going to say anything about that, but you know what you thought about it. And so many other issues pressing in on our world, I thought, more than anything, we need a glimmer of hope. So I share a few verses from Psalm 61 out of the book, Psalms for a Pilgrim People. So it may sound a little different than your translation at home. And I'll share selected verses with you today. The title of this psalm is Hope in God Alone. I stand on a rock at the edge of the sea. The wind hurls the spray at my face. The depths of the ocean swell heavy with menace. Tides of despair drown my heart in the deep. The spirit has gone out of me. My self-centered desires are as nothing. I have come to the brink of inner death. I descend to the depths of my doom. With a glimmer of hope, I remember your love. The love that finds me even as I search. You have entered the void of my despair, meeting me in the very place of your absence. The music of praise sounds again in my heart. The words of rejoicing take sh shape on my lips. You renew my strength to fulfill what I promise. The name that you give me endures through the years. I think in seasons like this, where everywhere we turn, we might encounter difficult news or challenges, the name that God gives us, as the psalmist refers to, is hope. Hope for today and hope for a future that is beautiful and full and loving. 
And so if you had a Tuesday like I had, or if your Wednesday is like that Tuesday, or whatever day of the week, I want you to know that there's a glimmer of hope right in the scriptures to remind us that we are a people who live with hope. And because of that, we can take the next step and move on with the life God is calling us to. May you be a glimmer of hope to someone else. And may you encounter hope everywhere you turn. Blessings.